Now how about we start with the truth? In case you don't already know what time it is, it's nine time with nine mind rises like a saddle did. I put it down like pyramid papyrus is a bushwick BK. How we my is that so wide of dead? Smack dab in the middle of the crack. Ever thought the streets was rough with no tesser said I'm back. We went from yes, yes, you're the pop lock and the crack to I shoot at my tarot if I pawn it to Greetings, what did you think of the film that you just saw? Uh, I thought the film was very, very powerful, upsetting. It makes you upset to see the injustice that goes on, still goes on, um, and the the strength of his movement that was going on, the the uh, the pyramids in Georgia. I did like that, very powerful, but quite upsetting, but still very powerful nonetheless. Was it the first time that you saw mysteries behind closed doors? Yes, yes, it was. Very, very well put together too. But yes, it was the first time to answer your question. Congratulations. How do you feel about your premiere in New York City theater, seeing your project on the big screen? Oh, it was cool. Um, today was the day of the uh, premiere for Mysteries Behind Closed Doors, um, the untold story of Dr. Malachi Z. York. And it was, um, we got a, a great response from the audience and from the crowd. A lot of people was excited, and they seen that it was just total injustices and they realized that, wow, this is a international type thing. This is a international case like Nelson Mandela. And so Dr. Malachi Z. York, because of the caliber of who he is and what he's done for his people, just people all around the world. So a lot of great responses just from people um, saying, you know, what's the next step? And the next step is on the international level. So that's where we're gonna push the film towards um, outside the United States and as well as Dr. York's case. Um, next stop will probably be in, whew, um, next stop, well I know we're doing a live via internet um, at Chicago State University. So we'll have an audience there and um, we'll be doing it live via Ustream. I'll be in Atlanta and the audience will be in Chicago so that'll be live via Ustream. And then we'll be possibly going to um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Philadelphia. Philadelphia will be the next stop. Congratulations again. Very good job. So how did you feel seeing your project on the big screen? Uh, it was wonderful. I mean, uh, seeing it for the second time since uh, California, seeing it again is like something that, you, something, something, something that you did for years. It's beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm ecstatic. Lost of words. Um, any comments or messages you want to get out? Any questions or comments that you want to get out to the public? Any last-minute comments? Yes, I mean, I mean, a lot, a lot of families should have came out, but that's okay. I mean, everybody got what what needs to be done, but you know, we we need to get it out to the media more. The media need to come out. A lot of people need to see this, see what's going on about. Dr. Marcos, you know, we worked hard, you know, saying for the for the, for, the, for the years that we did this this project. So, you know, the only way we, the only way we're gonna get things done is by people coming out to see the project, to see what's going on. And, and as we get more people in, a lot a lot of help will come. So, so we ask we 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 starting to ask for more people to start to come because this, this is really all about teamwork. And the only way you get teamwork is by people seeing it and coming together. Well, thank you for all your hard work. What did you think of the film Mystery Behind Closed Doors? Oh, I, I think it was a very good film, uh, very well produced. It brought out a lot of knowledge that most people uh, didn't know anything about um, and that uh, I never met Melikazi York, but uh, I've read a lot of his books and I believe that uh, he got framed it's just a conspiracy of the uh, federal government along with the FBI and CIA and the typical punishment of black people, um, any black person that tries to help uh, their race. Um, so, you know, like I said, I, I believe Malachi York is innocent and uh, I look forward to him getting out of uh, this illegal imprisonment in which he's in. Um, my name is Nolan Willis from Detroit, Michigan. What did you think of Mystery Behind Closed Doors? Very, very powerful documentary. 
very powerful, and it brought out a lot of points that people probably are not aware of, and it's just phenomenal. Was it your first time seeing it? No, I actually watched it at home, but for some reason watching it on the big screen, it, it, the impact was even more just so profound. So tell me what did you think about the uh, screening today? Well, I thought that it was um, very powerful to see it on the big screen. I did see it before, but the impact, and I think that we should keep pushing it, getting more uh, film festivals, and I just want to continue seeing it on the big screen. What did you think of Mysteries Behind Closed Doors and seeing it on the big uh, screen? I thought it was a dynamic documentary. Um, I think it's a, a topic that needed to get out because the information is something that can happen to anyone. You know, just as long as we don't promote you know, uh, knowing about his case and knowing that things of this nature can happen to different people, that's when, you know, the, the mystery behind closed doors will stay a mystery. I think the documentary exposed the different things that, uh, that the state and the federal officials did that was uh, breaking the law. And I think it's our job now to promote the truth of the case and to get it exposed to more people. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. The travesty behind, you know, this case is, is, is unusual. I'm having, I mean, nowhere in America, out of all the black groups they've infiltrated, that they've never did anything like they, they're doing to this man here. And I'm trying to really put my, my mind on why and how would they go to the extreme extent in a courthouse, in a court of law, superseding the Constitution, which is the highest law in the world to put them behind bars. Welcome Hafe Acosta, one of the people behind uh, this documentary, Mysteries Behind Closed Doors. So tell me, how did you feel seeing your project on the big screen? Oh, it felt great. You know, it's a good feeling. I was excited because for the first time I've seen, you know, my work in the big screen. And, you know, this is the beginning. It's, it's, it's great. You know, I want to thank the people for coming. You know, it was a nice crowd and it was a good feeling. I'm still feel excited about it. And also there were a lot of people who um, had no idea who Malika York was. And um, how do you feel about getting to that audience? Well, we just, I mean, my mother came and a couple of my friends from high school came and they didn't know about it. When I mentioned 135 years, they were, they couldn't believe it. So I told them a little bit about the case and the organization and how, you know, what we're all about. So we get that at every screening, you know, Philadelphia, Georgia, Chicago, because a lot of people don't know. They've heard about it, but now they, you know, they get like, you know, really in your face, this is what, hap this is what happened. And, um, you know, I want people to get, get involved and support and really write a congressman and tell them what's going on, that this is a, an unjust case. An innocent man is behind bar. Any last comments? So stay tuned. Uh, you can go to mrbehindclosedoor.com and send all your questions and comments, and uh, you know stay updated. Thank you. I also want to um, give special thanks to chatwiththegods.com who helped um, participate in sponsoring this um, actual trip to um, New York City, the premiere. So I want to give thanks to them and also. Um, Shout out with Chats to the Gods. <laughs> Chat with the Gods. Chat with the Gods. Shout out. <laughs> and also, um, I might as well say it now. Also, chat, um, chat with the Gods. Also, a uh, quick uh, special thanks to the brothers and sisters in Chicago who helped um, make the Chicago uh, event happen in Chicago State, Illinois. Chicago State University. <laughs>